was lucky enough to defer a university place to take up a job. However, many of my friends have gone into apprenticeships that pay as little as £2.73 an hour, mm. less than the bus fare to mm. and from work, with no guarantee of a job at the end. What would you do to change the situation and improve apprenticeships? So the, the uh, minimum wage for apprenticeships, you're right, is set differently, as you quite rightly alluded to, to the 650, um, the, the, the sort of adult minimum wage, um, for a reason. And the reason, of course, is that apprenticeships, by definition, not, are not supposed to be the same as a kind of, you know, full-time, fully qualified job. And um, so you have, this, you have this difference. Actually, as it happens, Vince Cable, uh, my colleague in, the, uh, in government, has increased the apprenticeship at minimum wage quite considerably by the largest sort of percentage increase in recent, in recent years. And thankfully, if you look at the average, not your friends that you alluded to, the average um, minimum wage pay to apprentices is generally ac across the country much, much higher than that. It tends to be well short of the six quid, but it's often, I think the average, I can find out for you, I think it's over four, over four quid an hour. But, um, so this is a really difficult balance. How do you make sure that you get people in on apprenticeships because it's such an important conveyor belt to then getting people into work? How do you make sure that employers feel that they can, you know, that it's worth it for them, that it's not too expensive, uh, but make sure that it's not exploitative? And I think getting the balance by, which is the way we're trying to do it, increasing the statutory rate of the apprenticeship minimum wage, whilst at the same time encouraging employers, which on the whole, not, you know, on the whole they do, to pay more than that, um, I think is the right approach. I think if you simply whack up the apprenticeship minimum wage to the inverted commas, normal minimum wage, you'll discourage lots of people from taking apprenticeships. And one of the most exciting things in recent years is the huge expansion of apprenticeships we've seen under this uh, government. And whilst, yes, we've saved